Hello, my name is Tom and I'm a compulsive overeater. One of the things that helped me out when I was just getting started with Overeaters Anonymous is some very good advice from my sponsor and, and some other people and, and uh, I even saw some nice posts on YouTube about abstinent eating and I thought maybe I would share one of the meals I make um, pretty regularly. I have this a couple times a week. It's a Mexican style uh, rice, chicken and tomato dish. I don't know if it's a paella or a gumbo or whatever you might call it. But um, on my food plan, I eat 12 ounces of vegetables, 5 ounces of protein, 4 ounces of rice potato, and 1 tablespoon of oil uh, at lunch and dinner. And that works very well for me. You might uh, talk to a sponsor about, about what your food plan will be, and um, different amounts are, are perfectly okay. I actually used to eat a little more, and... and and um, even eating more than that, I, I, I was able to lose over 100 pounds. So I'm very, very grateful and very, very um, happy about that. So here we are with some diced tomatoes and green chilies from Safeway. And this particular can does not have any sugar in it, as I read the ingredients. I sometimes get different things. And this is already stewed tomatoes. And sometimes you can get flavored Italian-style flavors or Mexican-style flavors. But one thing you should look at is the fact that there is sugar in this one. It's the third ingredient. Uh, you might want to talk to a sponsor about whether, whether or not you want to limit or avoid sugar. Sometimes that can cause cravings. So the stewed tomatoes has gone back in the cupboard, and I'm going to make this with uh, the diced tomatoes with green chili. And good. So we're going to measure out my 12 ounces of vegetables, and I put this do this with a food scale. This is something I, I highly recommend. It, it takes all the thinking out of it, and, and that's very important. The less thinking I do, the less decisions I have to make, and the less wrong decisions I'll make. So I'm going to put my bowl here on the, on the scale, and it zeroes out. And I have a can already opened. And I'm looking for 12 ounces. So that's 14 and an eighth. And what I do is just take off usually a lot of the juice until I get my 12. 12 and 3 quarters, 12 and 1 quarter. There's 12. Good. And I'll make this on the stove top here. This is a regular frying pan. I'll put it on like level six, which is medium. Maybe seven with that little burner. And my my food plan calls for one tablespoon of oil. So that's easy enough. This is canola oil, but uh, you can use in this dish whatever you like, peanut oil or olive oil. I like all of them. Good. And what I'll do now is start start my tomatoes cooking. Okay. Next I'm going to measure out um, my rice. So I'm going to zero the scale. And I'm going to put in, I get four, four ounces of rice. If uh, you notice I make this rice in advance, I have a video on how I do that. I, lo I love my rice cooker, but that's not necessarily a necessity. But it's nice to have all this, these things made in advance. So here's three and three quarters, four and an eighth, four and a quarter is a little much. There's four. Good. I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to put the rice in last. The next thing is going to be my chicken. So, notice I made some chicken in advance too. I have a video on how I do that as well if you'd like. And I'm looking for five ounces of chicken. So, let me zero the scale again. And I just pop it right on the lid. I think that's easy for me. Here's four and five eighths. 
and that's a little much, five and a quarter. So I'm going to put back a quarter ounce of chicken, five and one eighth. Five, great. And it might seem a little strange that I'm concerned about one eighth of an ounce of chicken, but again, all the thinking is gone. I'm just doing my food plan. I'm following my rules, and I don't decide if I'm worked hard today and deserve extra chicken or if I feel heavy and I shouldn't have extra chicken. I just have always five and that takes all the thinking out of it and I don't have to I don't have to engage in that sort of decision making. And I like to just cut it up. There we are. And this is going into our pot as well our pan as well and it starts to cooking I'm going to add a few spices because I want to a little bit of salt I like pepper, There's some black pepper and I just happen to have some chili powder. So we're going to add some chili powder. Why not? And since this is not stewed tomatoes, meaning it's not, they're raw tomatoes, I'm just going to let this cook a little while. And I think I'm going to leave this on for about five minutes or so. So I'll check back with you in five minutes. Okay, great. Well, this looks good, and it's been about five minutes, and I'm just going to add the rice now. let that uh, warm up and then basically whenever I'm ready I'm going to eat it okay I just let this on a few minutes longer and I, I kind of like it when the, oops, when the, uh, the rice starts to brown a little bit but we're all set and here we are, very, very easy, abstinent meal. Hope you uh, enjoy. Hope you. Um, I wish you much success in your in your program of recovery. Thank you.